Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Um, I, this is my first ever time having a beef wellington. I know you're supposed to have it with gravy, vegetables and potatoes from which I've googled. Um, but not really a mash type of person. So I thought, you know what, let me have it with some chips and some onion rings. I've still got the beef up there sitting on the table um, for now. So I thought, you know what, let me make some chips instead. Chips, onion rings, and beef wellington. You know, I'm not the traditional person when it comes to food, so, you know, while I'm waiting for them to cool down a bit, let's cut in to this beef wellington and see what it's like. I did it for exactly the amount of time it said to cook it for. It said to cook it for uh, 50 minutes. No, sorry, 40 minutes. So I cooked it for 40 minutes as well. So let's see. It feels a bit soggy underneath. I put it on baking paper, which it, it said to put on, and it kind of feels a bit soggy. There. We go. Um, let's have a look. Oh, one half. Um, it looks nice, but it's very soggy. I never knew that was going to be a thing. Um, and yeah, it's it's not been wrapped tightly like it should have been. It really, really, really isn't. Uh, I paid 17 pounds for this beef wellington. Um, I feel like it should have been done properly. It's just like a, a beef parcel, a beef on croup shall we say because inside here there's loads of mushrooms and let me show you real quick yeah there's loads of mushrooms in here and pastry like I don't know how many levels of pastry that is in there it's ridiculous you know, and it's only a small piece of meat in here as well. I was so expecting to cut it up in it to be absolutely beautiful and I can eat it normally. But yeah, it's, it's looking like it's going to be eaten uh, in a messy way, unfortunately. Which is sad. Sad to see. Um... drip the oil all over my thing <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry there is nothing like homemade chips what I want to understand yeah is look at these chips homemade proper nice decent how comes my when I go to the fish and chip shop they don't look like this I don't get it because they're both chips homemade cooked in a deep fat fryer so I don't get it Right, let's have
I like the pastry, I like the mushrooms. However, this is nowhere near a beef wellington. I've not had one, never had one. This is the first time. And even me not having a beef wellington, no, this ain't no beef wellington. You know, it's supposed to be wrapped tight. It's not tight at all. <clears throat> As you can see with this, you know, um, which is a shame. Because like I said, this beef Wellington from Morrison's cost me 17 pound. That's the most I've ever spent on a single food item. Maybe one day, my mum might attempt one. Uh, and make one for me. She's never made one, so, you know. <clears throat> she did say, she, my mum actually did say, so if, if you want as well, put some, put some options in the comments. My mum did say she did want a challenge. I think in the Beef Wellington, I think also, <coughs> the reason why this is so soggy underneath is because maybe it wasn't seared first, it was probably just put raw in there, which is why all the um, juices come out. I don't know. I, I've, like I said, I'm no, I know, I'm no, I'm no expert. I'm really not. But let's give this meat a try. This is nice. This this meat is nice. It's like a a lot softer than a steak. Very chewy though. Like it's it's supposed to be pink inside. But yeah, I copied this recipe to the letter as well. I had a timer going as well, so I knew exactly when it was due to come out. I mean, look at that. Look 
how thick. Look how thick that is. Look at that. That is all pastry. <laughs> like. And it's gooey as well. So it's like partly cooked. I would like to um, I would like to go to a restaurant and try a proper beef wellington as well now because oh, I'm gutted man with the amount of money that cost I'm absolutely gutted right, let's try this uh, last basil drink I've got it is pomegranate give me a second I need to sneeze right let's see if we can before I drink the pomegranate let's see if we can yeah look it's, I'm trying to cut it and it's just move. Yeah, that's the beef. Oh, pardon me. That's the soggy inside parcel. Right, let's have a try. <laughs> oh! Oh, that is not nice. That's really not nice. Oh my God. Tasted like leaves when I first drank some. Right, let's have. Oh. You know, I feel like I'm the. I'm the only consistent mukbanger that I know of in the UK. Which is sad because I I like like to watch videos, know when the come videos coming out. You know, <clears throat> the only food channel I know who is consistent with uploads is Beard Meets Food. I don't really watch Carvey food no more. Oh yeah, I don't like the leaf flavour. Oh, is that normal for pomegranate? Ugh. Yeah, the the, <coughs> the lychee and the um, mango. Sensational.
Um, <clears throat> yeah, let me know. If you guys have ever had a beef wellington, is did that how it's supposed to be? Because I didn't know the pastry was supposed to be that thick on the bottom. Um, you know, and, and that... that I didn't think it would be that hard to cut, neither. Right, I've got these, these knives. Are sharp. That really, really sharp. because uh, it's, it's the ninja knife set and they come with the uh, ninja sharpener thing attached to the knife block Well, that piece was very chewy. Oh yeah, I really don't like that that oh, that flavour. It's very kind of off-putting. Right, let's try and have a bit of everything on this beef Wellington. It's okay. Yeah, like there's no no sear on it, so maybe that's why it got soggy. I don't know. I will never ever buy a ready made <clears throat> beef wellington ever again. But anyway, yeah, come back to what I was saying before. Um, is I like. Knowing that, oh, it's Tuesday, so and so has got a video coming up, or or, or what, you know. Um, Like on my channel, you haven't even seen the KFC video yet while I'm filming this. Um, what I want to know from you guys is do you prefer to have a scheduled video time from me where you know you have a video coming every single Tuesday and every single Friday
or would you rather me just put videos out when 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 I've filmed them? Oh, yeah, really smells like I've, I've been laying down in the garden sniffing weeds. Um, not that kind of weed. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to get a ready-made beef wellington from the shop again. Right, I don't know if you can see that. God's sake. Yeah, look how thick that pastry is. That's disgusting. I'll never get that one again. Yeah, the, the, the pastry is very, very doughy as well. Yeah, it's supposed to be pink, but... Oh, this is a rubbish bit. There's loads of gristle and crap in here. Or muscle. muscle or something in there <laughs> reason why I'm still drinking that is because it cost me one pound just for that tiddly little drink and I'm not going to pour that down the drain Yeah, that, that, that bite was okay. Maybe they didn't trim it properly. I don't know.
Oh. Oh god, yeah, that's disgusting. <coughs> I feel like they snuck some some garden weeds or something in there. That is oh such a shame man on the final one of the three. Had to be let down. Um, but the drinks in general are lovely. I love the drinks in general. Like I love how I'm, I'm, I don't have that sticky flavour. Like I said, on each time I drink the drink. Um, but <coughs> that pomegranate one is horrible. Oh, yeah, I don't like it. This I'm I'm fuming about. Um. Uh, okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video.